Hey, oh, <laughs> hello. Caught you off yeah. guard. Yeah, no, that you know, I was looking at some of the comments. I see boots with the fur. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny new thing that I, people have been saying. I really like that. I know he I'm has like, boots with the fur. Yeah, it's literally right. Uh, Legitimately. Also, uh, what's going that. on, everybody? Welcome to another uh, edition of Mondo Toy Talk. I'm your buddy Peter Santa Maria, aka Attack Peter, here uh, with my great great friend and compadre in this business. Uh, Hector Arce, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? I was gonna say that uh, the countdown feels make me feel important. Yeah, right. Those are great little features that suddenly you're like, wow, we're doing the thing. Yeah. Yeah. It matters. Cool. There's a countdown before I arrive. There's a countdown, <laughs> and then it kicks into the video, and the video is a music. Ding, 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 ding. Let's do it again. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, really so, what's up, everybody in the chat? Good to see everybody here. Uh, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of new names too. Uh, let's shout out the people that are here. We got uh, Brian Carr. What's up? Order in. Thank you so much. Mark Cosplay had an early comment. I have my pre-order locked in. Absolutely amazing. Can't wait for her release. Hats off to you guys at Mondo. She looks amazing. Gaty's Toys Thanks. says. I was hoping for a Mark Taylor Tila. Y'all knocked out of the park. Thank you so much. We're proud of it. Uh, let's see here. King Panther. Oh, greetings, Team Mondo. I can't wait for the big reveal surprise at C2E2. Will there be a panel showcase? Well, King Panther, interesting that you mentioned that. I want to talk about, right up front, I want to talk about uh, C2E2. In fact, let me share my screen. Here we go. Ta 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 ta. That's for you, Hector. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No. Uh, anyway, so here you go. Uh, right off the screen, if you go to... Oh, I lost it. No, here it is. There you go. If you go to uh, the Mondo mondoshop.com and you go to the blog, there's some news about C2, E2 up there. Um, do I not have it up there? Where'd it go? You lost it, man. Hold on a second. I got the wrong thing. Hold on a second. Let me just do this again. Share screen. Oh, here we go. That's why I had it on the tab. Boom. Boom, son. All right. C2E2, uh, Chicago, this year at the end of the month, specifically uh, at the, well, what is the dates exactly? April 26th through 28th, uh, Chicago, Mondo will be there. I'll be there in person uh, with some of my friends from Mondo, um, and we will have some announcements which we teased last night on Geek Dad Live. Thanks for everybody who came and watched us last night and came over here for some more. Um, you'll be happy you did if you stay to the end. And so uh, right here, we got some information about it. So the convention center is at McCormick Place, Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. Uh, but, you know, most importantly, we got some cool stuff. Uh, our posters team is bringing out um, some great repros of Amazing Fantasy number 15, which is Jack Kirby art. I know there's some confusion about that. This is a Jack Kirby illustration. So it's a beautiful uh, screen print, full color, um, will be available in person at the show, as well as this beautiful Batman piece from Dave John. So we really wanted to feature, since we're going to Chicago, one of the biggest cities in the country, some artwork that featured the cityscapes, right? So uh, Amazing Fantasy 15, this beautiful cover, uh by dave johnson of batman the adventures continue number one i love this piece dave johnson is one of the best comic cover artists out there and a super heck of a nice guy so these are beautiful they're gonna be great 24 by 36 and since we're here talking toys talking the toys. new edition right of james groman's werewolf by night this is the pen and ink variant so if you remember we did a pen and ink variant for man thing and yeah. if you got that one this would be a great one to pair with it but even if you didn't people just love this paint app man it's like i mean it, it there's a lot all of them have turned out great yeah but there's something about the contrast with the black and white right with the red eyes that i just mm -hmm. love and it's my favorite man thing uh figure that we did it, it turned out to, i mean i love the other ones too but i, I just love how, how the black and white looks and, and it's one of my favorites yeah it's rad to be able to have uh those color combos connect throughout the two because especially after seeing you know the the werewolf by night special on on disney plus and seeing them hang out together and that like the black and white nature yeah, of the yeah. Silver Spring. it's almost like we kind of did it on <laughs> no, exactly no. i mean uh, shout out to james um amazing as always he he painted this one and uh and yeah, uh, really stoked to be able to uh, put this up. It's an online exclusive, so if you're not if you're at the show, then you know you won't be able to get it there. But if you're online, you'll be able to grab it. Um, yes. 
Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, it's a very small addition at 200. Yeah. yeah, so it's the third one that we've dropped so far. This the second. Yeah, yeah, we third did the, uh, the, the the werewolf by night edition, like the regular version. Then we did the yeah. blood moon. That's the right. Third. We got two more after this, and I don't nice. know if we've said that out loud yet. But we have we, it. We have or we haven't. We have not. Oh, okay. Well, we have two more. So if you miss out on this one, if you're not, you will have two more chances. Yes, but then that's it. Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> but yeah, they're so awesome. If you haven't had a chance to see them in person, they're so great in hand. They're just like a big chunk of vinyl sitting right on your uh, shelf. It's it's a super satisfying figure. And uh, so, yeah, C2E2, but not to bury the lead. Um, we mentioned that la last night on Geek Dad Life that we will be talking about uh, some news at C2E2. We're not going to reveal that here, although we do have some cool news to share at the end of this. Mm -hmm. um, a little tease. Uh but yeah, it's going to be pretty newsworthy day, I would say, uh, from the Mondo, uh, uh, the Mondo hangar. Uh, yeah, well, gonna I, I'm going to be, be at a panel. panel. Go ahead. Yes. There's going to be a panel, right? There's going to be a panel. They're allowing me on the stage, which I think is shocking. Yeah. I mean, and, they're, just, um, they're in for a treat. Yeah. Apparently, they asked me what, well, apparently I get my theme, I get theme music to walk onto the floor with. Like a so that's exciting. I, you know, I chose a song. All over again. I know. I'm gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna come out with my belt and spank. 316, right? Is that where? Is that yeah, awesome? exactly. That, that would be great. Oh, that, that's what I recommended. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, the archive. What up, Raf? Says uh, any surprise sold out items at C2E to making an appearance. What a segue. What a segue. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's the answer? Yeah, actually, um, so we are taking a handful of sold out vaulted uh, Mondo collectibles that you will only be able to get there at C2E2. Um, and it's probably going to be one of the last times that anyone will be able to get some of these. So there's going to be some previously sold out X-Men stuff, previously sold out Masters of the Universe stuff, Batman the Animated Series, and some uh, you know Godzilla soft, soft final that we have like a handful of each of those things, but we will have them at, at C2E2 to get at the booth. So if you're there and you can make it into the Funko booth, which then gets you into the Mondo booth, uh, you'll be able to purchase uh, one of those real items, I guess, or, or vaulted items or whatever. You want. Yeah. Yeah, there's always something that people hit me up, say, hey, I missed this. I jumped on a little too late, couldn't get that. So yeah. Um, that's that's the move is if you're if you're looking for if you're at the show if you're looking for something or if you have a buddy shopping for you at the show tell them to swing by we might have that piece that they are looking for so uh yeah c2e2 end of the month i'll be out there uh so that'll be a fun one um but that's not the main reason we're here tonight the main reason we are here tonight is to talk tila and i definitely want to do that but stick around to the end of the show because we are going to do a giveaway maybe two giveaways and we have some cool uh updates and a little tease at something that's coming soon someone guessed what we were gonna say at uh c2e2 and they said it's probably evil lynn and i'm like ah, think bigger bro <laughs> so here we go Dream evil lynn, we already announced I'm pretty yeah sure. we already announced evil lynn for sure at, at, uh, uh, at uh what was it PowerCon. yeah so man Gila. So normally we do these uh, to toy talks a little earlier in the drop, right? Like uh, night of or the night, you know, to, to, uh, when it's released to get everybody hyped up and all that. You know, scheduling conflicts, we weren't able to do it, but it, I'm still excited to do it now because we're like halfway through. There's still a whole week of Tila uh, available, right? You can still get Tila for the week. In fact, just so you know, I'm, I have that ticker at the bottom of the screen using all the tools available until 412 which is April 12th at 11.59 a.m. Central Time. Make sure you check your time transitions and make sure you don't miss it. Um, but yeah, what a freaking huge release. People have been talking about it forever. I think she blew everybody's minds at uh, DesignerCon uh, where people got a chance to finally see um, in person the prototype, right? And it was a, a jaw-dropping paint app by uh, Mark... Uh, Bristow, who's our in in-house painter, just doing an absolutely incredible job, um, and that that sculpt, that paint, the accessories, everything coming together, I think just put people over the top. So check it out. Here are the pictures we want to go over and talk about everybody involved. Yeah, Hector, we have returning Emiliano Santa Lucia, correct? 
correct. Yeah, we will have we have some concept art to show. Yeah, uh, at some point during this, yeah. right? So we have his concept art to show off. But yeah, of course, Emiliano always knocks it out of the park. He has his just like finger on the pulse when it comes to capturing nostalgia and uh, imbuing it with uh, uh, flourishes of just amazingness i would say because he is such like an uh, an, an accomplished designer and uh we we trust them to always handle our, our our masters of the universe stuff so yeah he did a fantastic job with tila as always um and, and yeah uh we were just uh, super happy that he he's on board and, and yeah it's out with this line yeah so emiliano on designs tommy hodges on sculpts mm -hmm. uh you know, Mark Bristow on paints. I'm going to show you guys some uh, in progress shots in a minute. So you can get like a deep dive, which we love to show uh, when the figures finally out for everybody here on the toy talks, but let's go over these shots here on the site. Um, right off the rip, tell me and everybody watching the, the, the thought process when putting together what the Tila package was going to include. So obviously there's some familiar stuff, some like, you know, must haves, but talk about the, uh, the idea behind all this. Yeah, so I mean, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but you know, the, we've had the Tila concept art for quite some time now. Uh, she was one; she was planned early on in 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 the in the line, right? But for some reason or another, it kept, she kept kind of getting skipped, or you know, there was another character that came up to the forefront, and we're like, we have to do this first; we have to do this character, or like selfish reasons for me being like, ah, this is my favorite character. We have to do or something like that but clawful not done yet so you know he's he's done <laughs> um that being said uh so emiliano did do something for tila a while back and then we i asked him you know about you know a, a little bit ago to revisit the concept art and add a few new things to kind of freshen it up re revisit some proportions stuff like that but um overall one of the main additions that we added uh this time around was the uh, the 2000 x head yeah. which was something that i really wanted to include i love her look in that show i love her especially like her hair um it's such uh it, it really gives us an alternate a great alternate head to have that is a throwback to a show and a in an era that doesn't have that much stuff in in collectibles right in toys yeah. out right now right so i felt like it'd be a great addition to this, yeah. uh, to this set yeah yeah i love it absolutely i i've told you like i love tila as a character i think she's always kicking ass but that 2000x design is the one that resonates with me the most it's like i loved motu as a kid obviously like many of us but when the 2000x line came in like just reinforced my passion for it with the four horsemen designs on it so just love that we're tying it all in together and yeah so let's take a look at these awesome shots who did who did the photos oh you know Raul. i know who obviously but uh, <laughs> yeah Raul, man i mean he is he is he's, he's He's the legend at this point, I would say, right? With his yeah, work. Raul Barrero. I'm gonna get into these cool glam shots. Look at this, like it just feels like an airbrush painting on the hood of a '70s like sports car. You know what I mean? Like, look at that thing. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, he he always captures our uh, figures in like the best light possible, right? And yeah. he he knows how to pose them perfectly. He he gets some poses that I don't even get when I'm testing these things out and all that. It just um, he, he always rocks it and I couldn't be happier with these. Yeah. These are just awesome to go through. You know, it feels like you're looking at scenes from a comic. Look at the lighting on it. The lighting on, on these displays really changes. And there's the head that the height that it gives it to is so great. It's just a really rad piece. And these are some of the, the pieces that feel people are pointing out like that scene, these scenes that feel back, like they're po pointing back to the old artwork, the comics. Right. Just rad stuff. Look, oh, talk about the headdress. Cause I love this thing so much. Yeah, I mean, it's a staple to the character, right? I mean, she she had it in the original figure. She's had it in the mini comics. We it felt like a must have to include. We we really stuck to the original design, but just updating it just enough to give it that sense of uh, to for it to live in our in our world of masters of the universe that we've kind of curated and created here at Mondo, which is, you know, staying true to the nostalgia of the figures and nostalgia of the character, but also imbuing them with a little bit of realism and a little bit of just pushing textures, pushing um, the overall uh, for for our line. Yeah, it's stunning. And uh, again, like the, the energy of these of expressions when you're posing gives you so many options. I love this one. This Me is too. one of my favorite shots. And it, it, he, he it, it, the background just yeah. looks 
magical and just she she looks like this just badass warrior about either she just finished the battle and she's just like hell yeah or she's you know gonna about to go in and throw down yeah i agree look at this great compliment tila and rogue mondo team these figures are not just top 10 of the year but may i add top two females in any action figure line well thank you so much because oh, it is you. something that we take great pride in in making sure that the female characters look badass beautiful all those things you know it's, it can't just be a one-off can i show this did you send me this i can show it yeah yeah, yeah i did i forgot to include it in our, our little share all on the, earlier today let me see if i can pull this up in a way that doesn't ruin everything right someone was asking for the box art and we yes we want to show what uh, florian did because uh we, you know sometimes we get the opportunity to show it off early and i have case, to do this to do it so one second yeah go for it man yeah yeah uh, here, read some comments. I can do this real quick. Read some comments. Read some comments. <laughs> Badass warrior goddess from Frankie Rivera. Um, someone's talking about Alcala mini comic head, a blonde one. Yeah, we thought about that actually, and it didn't make it this round. You know, it didn't make it, but um, never say never, right? I, I definitely had the the blonde hair in my radar for sure. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Brian Carr is saying, I can only imagine how amazing Evil Lynn is going to be. And yeah, I mean, she she's going to be awesome. We're, we're, we're stoked to be working on her. She's She'll probably be dropping sometime late at the end of the year. Okay, I think I can do it now. Let's see. You got it. Oh, Boom. there you go. Boom. So there is the art that Florian Bertmer uh, created for the box. It's beautiful. Uh, did we show this? No, we showed this in our internal uh, talks. Uh, this is an awesome piece. Florian, again, doing a great job uh, creating, you know, artwork that feels like it's of our time, but it could have been from the time when these originally came out. It's like this perfect blend of the vibe of the 80s and uh, and the abilities and the, uh, the resolution of today. But I can't say anything without pointing out these little guys right here. The creepers in the back, right? Bro, I love Watch Skeletor and Beastman just like peeping <laughs> over. For the They're just creeping, man. They're creeping. It's so They're good, creeping. dude. Is that a reference to anything? It is a reference. It is a reference to um. Man, Flory is gonna kill me if I if I don't get this right. Let me. I'll, I'll have to get back. Okay, to you, okay. Man. But it, it is a reference. He did point out that it is either in the in in the mini comics or in in something where they they're kind of peeking through the trees yeah it like feels that. like something you would see in those old comics like, like some odd little drawing like that i love it it's so good but yeah this is the this is the box art you'll be you'll be seeing uh let me see that's right from the mini comic okay cool thank you giraffe i appreciate that thank you yeah yeah so really rad now uh there's more beauty shots on the site but i want to show some of the in progress stuff you think yeah, it's too... let's do that. yeah okay cool it looks like let me go into this make sure i do this right let's see here let me do this so i don't mess it up just in case all these what like <laughs> I, I just gotta like i just gotta do this so i don't mess up what i show in what order and all that yeah yeah the blonde one yeah yeah the people requesting the blonde head oh yeah Let's see, let's see. Okay, uh, here we go. Okay. So this, this is the, is this right? There we go. Yeah, this there is you go. Emiliano's concept art, which is always awesome. I love that we show this stuff on the show. You know, Hector and I were talking before the stream. You know, I've said it before, like as a toy fan, as a collector, I used to collect Toy Fair magazine, action figure modeler, all that kind of stuff. And I would love any sneak peek, or if I see a panel at a convention, any little behind the scenes, onto what it feels like or what you would see if you worked on toys or figures you know uh, for uh, officially for a living so this kind of stuff to me always feels like awesome behind the scenes stuff and emiliano's work deserves to be seen look at that yeah you know uh and that's a good point right because uh we see you know this stuff come through almost on a daily basis right we're working on so many projects and a lot of the concept art never goes seen by the general public right people don't see the amount of work that goes into just creating the concept art for one of these figures and emiliano always puts in a thousand percent right like yeah. he gives us such beautiful turns and, and detailed uh illustrations 
um, for the sculptor to just have as much information as possible, right? And uh, I'm glad we get that we get to share these on Toy Talk because, yeah, like most people don't get to see these, and it's right. all beautiful work. Yeah, super cool. Uh, let's see here. So we also have, uh, dang it, wrong way. Crap. Let's see that this right. There we go. So this is then a shot of the sculpt, right? Like in the uh, how? Yeah, this was what phase? Yeah, this was probably about. I would say maybe she was around like eighty-five percent done. There were still okay. some steps to do here and there, um, but it was at a good stage where you know it, it'd be, it, I thought it'd be cool to show Tommy Tommy's work. And you know you don't get you get, to get to seeing it you know seeing it like this right and this kind of like the the grayscale with the render lighting and all that kind of stuff really just brings out all the details and stuff like that a yeah little yeah you know, I've always loved seeing them uh, I was telling you before unpainted because you really get to focus on the sculpt you know and uh, it's and it also reminds me of like seeing like historical statues like you know Greek or Roman statues especially in this are, color right yeah yeah yeah. yeah she does it does give off this kind of like Greek or Roman kind of statue vibe. Yeah. um yeah. you know another thing to note is that you know when we when we're doing these figures like stuff like fur uh like the four loin mm. cloths or capes or in this case Tila's like shoulder fur and her boot fur um you know we actually like you know tommy or whoever is sculpting will mo most likely sculpt it in just for reference so that we can see how it's going to look um so you can see those sculpting it here but uh of course on the actual figure they're they're you know a faux fur um uh on the boots and on the on the shoulders right yeah it's really rad you love seeing the term turnarounds again shout out tommy hodges because it's just a thing to behold so then here i like showing this stuff too because this is something i never thought about before uh being able to see the you know the behind the scenes of figure uh, design so this is uh the exploded view it's called right yeah correct yeah, yeah. this is our exploded view of, of tila which kind of showcases all the all the parts that go to making tila and how she's separated not only for uh, to be able to be producible, but just in order to be able to, ha you can see like what the switch, so the factory can see all the joints and everything that's going into it before we, before we and that's it. really who this is for, right? Like the factory to see what they, for the most part, yeah, we yeah. don't, we don't normally share this stuff out, but you know, here, right. at, here at Toy Talk, we, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Yeah. You don't you get, normally you get see this stuff. exclusive looks behind the scenes stuff that only yeah. uh, ourselves or manufacturers get to see, but you basically, you know, what, what we do the, here with this exploded view is just to give a sense of how many parts come with the, with the character. And as you can see uh, on the right is pretty, pretty much every, all the parts that come with the legs and the arms. And you would think you would have to times that by two because on the other side is equally amount, about the same amount of, amount of uh, uh, pieces. So she's, you're looking at like maybe a hundred, hundred parts that go into Tila or in any of and, and, and it And it must be like a very specific and challenging thing to do all the articulations i know i've overheard conversations and meetings where, where you know someone will say something like okay well we can give that to so and so to articulate it like it's not just an assumption that somebody can sculpt and articulate the stuff right absolutely yeah it's it's tough to have someone who can really engineer a figure and also provide a very beautiful sculpt right it's 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 not as common as you would think right. um, and so yeah there are cases where sometimes we have someone who's a fantastic sculptor and then they send it over to us or or, or we find someone else whose specialty is engineering and, and articulating right uh but tommy happens to be both of that so he can he can articulate yeah. and he he is our go-to articulator so if anyone ever wondered i mean tommy is you know always looking over all of our stuff um and uh and in this case yeah um he was able to 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 kind of from the ground up build the sculpt in my in thinking also ahead where all the articulation and all the cuts and everything is going to be so yeah i can't stress enough how much you know we're blessed to have tommy hodges and we always talk about how great alex brewer is many of you guys know fan plastic for tommy's instagram is is it okay if i say it i don't remember it's public right it's like it's cool does he want people april may was it april may something or other uh, All the months. I think we'll share. We'll share it next time. We'll share it. Okay, we'll share it. But yeah, you should follow him because it's he's a he's a great uh, sculptor. And if you're a fan of this kind of stuff, it's cool to see. Uh, here's a question. Let me see if I can, we can get an answer. Can you discuss some of the changes made, even since Decon, when the figure was first shown off? Oh, when the figure was first shown off, uh, you guys are making iterations right the way through each project. Uh, yeah. So like, 
we we first showed it at decon two decons ago right the concept art um i think two d i think it was playing on a screen or something we showed the some of the sculpt renders mm. right so that's a long this was a pretty long project yeah like to get get through and you know by the time it comes out and all of that you know we're we're approaching the the the, the end date right which is when it's gonna it's gonna be by the time we usually you know we try to do this but by the time something gets put up for sale you know we have an x amount of months before it ships right so um the the changes that were made are, are minor right they're okay they're little things i don't know if that many people would notice but it's like proportional changes adjustments to the facial structure adjustment to you know how something connects or, or that kind of stuff um you know at, at, at certain points in the in the development process even all the way through paint master we're always making changes and what we showcased this past decon right in uh yeah. December, was the paint master on the final like printout from the manufacturer so it was pretty much set in stone final at that point okay other than like some of the fur and stuff we hadn't uh fully like attached that yet i believe yeah cool well, there's your answer, Nick. Uh, I will personally be displaying mine with the the snake cow. I freaking love this. You know, for some reason, as a kid, a I don't even remember if I ever had Tila. I, I had to have Tila, but I definitely don't think I owned, or maybe I lost early the snake cow. Uh, but I remember all the artwork showing it. I love it so much, and this one just feels so freaking badass, dude. Yeah, uh, I mean, the, it, it's a must, right? And I yeah. love the what the staff. You know, the staff and how it was redesigned a little bit, right? Um, to what changes it, were made for the staff? Um, I think that you know the, the overall, like adding those golden bands at the top, uh, giving more of like the, the the scaly texture to the cobra. Um, I think the you know the a little bit of the swirl going on there, the swirly bits. Um, yeah. But um, and then the staff overall isn't like perfectly straight. It's kind of slightly ain't like, cool. curvy and wavy to kind of emulate that. What if it was like an actual snake that she turned into? into a staff is the sky is the cow magnetic someone's asking no really the cow no. actually like sticks like if uh, i don't know if there's any images of the back of the head let's see if I can but it, it sort of just kind of like sticks over um over the hair okay um there you go right there on the to the right oh there you yeah. go so like it comes over the front yeah it comes over comes over the entire hair piece and uh the snake uh headdress is a softer pvc so it has mm. a little bit of flex to it so you can just kind of pop it right in yeah that the looks armor, great the, the, the snake armor only fits the regular tila head and the angry head it does not okay. fit 2000 x head no. okay good to know yeah I yeah saw someone someone asked the question there um, yeah, so cool. but no i mean at that point we would have had made the hair removable and all this stuff and, and it, it would have just been a bit too complicated um yeah this is amazing though look at that photo dude it's like so rad like that's just a great silhouette hey no problem nick is the tiara removable no so. no right no. i don't think so. unlike she this one we 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 kept the the tiaras intact we yeah. wanted to make to prevent any sort of breakage uh prevent any warping with with pieces that that um thin and that have that specific shape it's just easier to just keep it attached um just for everybody so that yeah you know. look at this comment hector during decision making of what new figures are considered next do the meetings ever get a bit heated and if so does peter just start yelling in spanish and everyone concedes to his opinion <laughs> nobody concedes to my opinion on anything <laughs> if ever i can at best sometimes go like this to the scale and go ding, and tip the scale a little bit but luckily i'll just answer and hector you answer but in my from my perspective it's great because everybody kind of has the same like idea of what would be awesome and cool thank god thank god there there are no turds in the proverbial punch bowl like everybody kind <laughs> of right like it would be annoying if someone was always like oh here comes norman with his idea i say we do there's nobody like that really. i don't know about this this kind of sucks yeah i don't know you guys no I mean, so, yeah we're, we're all you know i think the the collectibles team when we do these meetings right um and and we go over this kind of stuff uh, you know once a week um 
we we're all very level headed, right? And we're all kind of like, okay, let's we're in the same mindset of like this is this is going to work, this isn't going to work. Some ideas get thrown out and they get added in, um, and sometimes they don't. Yeah, um, but. Yeah, I mean, if he started screaming in Spanish, then I I totally understand and just you know start yelling in Spanish. Fast. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know, Hector's uh, also half Cuban, so like he can hang in the Spanish department. Yeah, but then uh, it would just sound like a normal conversation. I exactly. Have with That's just called Cuban. Yeah, it's just called yeah. Cuban speaking. Man. <laughs> screaming in Spanish equals Cuban. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But oh yeah, the 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 thing is, you know, um, it definitely feels in our meetings like everybody has the same goal which is to impress you guys like to make the yeah. cool thing that we want for us that will impress you guys so even if sometimes like there's an idea like you know like if somebody really has you know the jones for an obscure figure like oh we should do this no one will see it coming everyone has to go like that would be cool but does anybody really want that and if like who want you know so like we we um devil's advocate ourselves there we go sometimes, yeah. right you know, but but generally, generally, like it's 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 pretty much an additive process. It's it's I don't I can't even think of anything where someone's been like shot down, to be honest. Yeah, usually what what what, what I'll do right is we like I'll go and, and, and come up with my dream list of accessories and stuff mm-hmm. that I want to see with all of these, right? And uh, I usually then like if just stick, let's stick to just Motu, right? Yeah. Like Master of the Universe. I'll give that dream list to Emiliano and be like, all right, let's make something happen here. And then once he draws it all out, we kind of then sometimes you know, I'll take it to the team or I'll share it with Peter or we'll all look at it together, right? And just kind of be like, oh, that's kind of cool. Or what if we added this? Or yeah, we can maybe take this out or whatever. Um, and then sometimes things change in the, in the sculpt process too. Sometimes we realize, oh man, we have a lot of accessories. This yeah. is a little too much. Yeah, so yeah. We, let's save some stuff for something else or for, for another variant, maybe down the line or something like that. So. Totally. I will say that um, even early on, there was a, there was a moment in time where we were discussing like who should we make next in the line. I'm not going to reveal anything, but I remember being able to say, "Man, I would really love to see so and so," and you were like, "That would be awesome." And and we started working on so and so, and it's underway. It's it's about to start getting sculpted, and uh, I had a chance to contribute a few little design things here and there. So yeah. it is very democratic. It's very like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, collaborative. It feels like a functioning band, you know. Uh, but when it comes to the figures, Hector is definitely the leader on that, and we all just know that he's got the best, uh, the best in mind for the whole team and the company and you guys. So. Uh, we're all stoked to be a part of it, man. I mean, and look at this picture right here. The uh, and by the way, I didn't reveal anything, but I said that right. Because <laughs> someone said we revealed soon enough, right? I know. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. Someone wrote a. Uh, let's see if I can. I want to try to see if we can get an answer to this here. Uh, without giving out reveals, how many characters deep in line have already been greenlit? You mean aside from that's what's been shown? We don't yeah, want to give a specific. Let me let me, yeah. let me, yeah, I, don't, I won't be specific, but we have yeah. we did show the sky sled, right? That's true. So, you guys already know about sky sled. Coming soon, it's going to come with some fun surprise accessories that we. Have it looks not amazing. Revealed. Um, so that'll be that'll be coming, uh, you know, your way in a bit. Uh, obviously, we revealed uh, Scare Glow one six, right? Uh, in the last toy talk, was it the last toy talk when we did? The uh, first yes, first yes, when we were doing the soft vinyl. Yeah, yeah. So we revealed that. Everyone knows about Scare Mare, which is the new name. It's not Nightmare anymore. Let's yeah. clarify that today because we Scare Mare. use that. Scare Mare. So it is Scare Mare it is a, a, a scale up Scare Glow's uh, steed that we have created here at Mondo. It's insane. Um, we have to see some pro- early prototypes of yeah, it. You're we'll, not ready. We'll have, yeah. something, we'll have something to show off really soon in terms of sculpt. It's it's yeah. an, it's giant. It's wild. The wings it's are crazy. like two feet wide each it's yeah. it's insane anyway um so then we have a few more down the, the, this year we have um one two i, I want to say three or four more left in addition before, to that in addition to that before for this year i think maybe three three more left. in addition to those three for this year yeah holy crap why are you Stacked. surprised i don't know i can't remember everything <laughs> <laughs> we're like wait a minute <laughs> I'm just like thinking like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I know at least one of them that I'm like, I cannot freaking wait for everybody to see it. Because- one of them I'm very excited because he is and was one of my favorite characters. I yeah. already gave away the gender. I don't know. 
yeah, gender. Yeah. Um, and uh, so it, it's it's a great. I love it. I love the how it was redesigned, and uh, it's it'll be a fun one. So. Yeah, and it's like it, and it's, these figures, man. They go through like steel sharpening steel. Like it just everything gets fine. Everything gets put back by yeah. the smell test of everybody. It's awesome, man. It's really cool. Yeah. So yeah, and then we, it we was, did reveal Evil Lynn, right? So yeah, that's one of the three. You know that we, I knew. Okay. And there's two more that we haven't really talked. About. So I know one of them. I can't remember the other one. All right, don't mm -hmm. don't say it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll mm -hmm. ask you off then. I, I know it's. Uh, no, don't worry about it. All right. So um, anyway, this picture is really rad because many of you guys got Beast Man in recently, and you know the size of that. So it's being able to have a line where the size actually works with the characters that's you know everybody scales it's so cool to see these kind of like david and goliath moments right that you could set up in your in your display so a uh, really really freaking rad there uh oh and uh no that's not for this never mind some teams messages came in confusing <laughs> yeah so uh really rad i think let me see what else we get yeah we still we show this one yet look at that the, i love the up close on this because there's something about the paint that really ties it into that classic cartoon era yeah she had the the, the paint that mark did and this is not even his his paint master this right. is the actual manufacturer reproduction of his paint right master, right uh and they they did a great job and this is you know basically what you're going to be getting um so uh yeah the, it's just like it's a very classy like i love the 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 lip color he picked and all mm -hmm. that it's just subtle it's subtle that, that i don't know if everybody notices that the the color choice on the lips the bottom lip versus the top lip to create the effect of the shadow and the highlight mm -hmm. it's awesome and then like that that like uh lavender line on the eyelid yeah it's just excellent yeah great stuff uh man you can't say enough about her she's so badass you know it gives off like that conan the barbarian era yeah for, yeah for sure red sonia vibes yeah. kind of thing yeah. yeah and here he is like the picture that that everybody's been talking about you know the recreation of the original uh mark taylor artwork so nice so so nice and if you have your he-man if you have man at arms and you get tila in, you're going to be able to create like this exact uh setup in your I'll collection throw, i'll throw one out to the group right okay. people can you know this is not saying it'll happen Oh my right, god. Right. But you know, step back for this. a very, very, very long time since we released Man at Arms. I mean, Man at Arms mm -hmm. is kind of out, gone. I don't even have Man at Arms. For years, right? Um, so you know, question, you know, if we were to revisit Man at Arms, would, would people be interested in a Man at Arms deluxe, right? That kind of re redoes the armor a little bit, maybe includes some soft goods in the, you know. So what, a, would that, what that would you know, mean like we like do some like change up the sculpt a little bit? Yeah, we, yeah it'd be you know kind of like what we did with He-Man, right? Where we okay. kind of revamped most of it, right? We you know what if we did that with Man at Arms, considering he is one of the original and then he's kind of been missing from the line for a long time. I hope you guys are saying yes to that because I don't have one, and that would give me a great opportunity <laughs> to get one. I say yes. People are saying yes. P please just redo all the old team ones, please. Oh what yeah, there's a couple ones too from the old ones that yeah, like Merman is kind of like all is, is a tough. Oh, uh, I see. I think Merman is cool enough that that we could go and do Me some too. update to Merman. Yeah, uh, but I also think that the Merman, you know, that was done, it still holds up. It's, it's pretty, really good. It's like really good. It's really good. It's I just want that, the that best deluxe head. line, and it still holds up. You know, I don't know what I would do. Probably add maybe a couple new heads. Like uh, a maybe. ponytail head for Duncan? No, no, man at arms. No, I'm Yeah, I was like, ponytail for, for Merman. <laughs> Merman? Merman's <laughs> ponytail in the water. He's like at his guru era. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I would love to see... Uh, I would. I always love, you know, all the fish guys, so... But yeah, uh, let me see. I only have... Someone says, I only have Merman and man at arms. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, awesome. Someone says, Faker needs a redo. Hmm. That's a good one. He does. He does. Yeah. So cool. So yeah, a lot of awesome stuff here. Super exciting. Again, if you haven't done so yet, and if you're thinking about it, I assume almost everybody on this chat probably uh, got their Tila pre-order. But if you didn't do so yet, uh, you can go to mondoshop.com and you can go like right on the main page. You'll see you can't miss her. Hit the pre-order button, 
there you go it's a timed edition right so it went up on april 2nd last week and you'll have until april 12th this week which is friday right yes it's friday yeah friday 11 59 a.m right so that's central time if you're eastern time like me it's 12 59 p.m but just in case that's confusing that means lunchtime right like lunchtime not middle of the day not in the like at night so uh just keep that in mind uh you can go over here you'll see everything about it it's awesome emiliano florian mark tommy killing it as always and uh we're expecting to ship this july 24 so that's not too bad that's pretty that's pretty near you feeling confident about that i'm pretty pretty feeling pretty good <laughs> it's possible it look it, it's so good i can't wait for you guys to get her in hand man. look yeah, at that i mean it, it's gonna be shipping what, what did it say july 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 yeah yeah that's that's gonna happen okay so cool super short you know you're gonna pre-order nice. it you're that's not bad it. dude yeah because we're like we're we're practically like we're halfway through april almost so yeah i mean May, june well, july i don't even count april anymore. it's, it's no, May. it's over april's May over for me, basically awesome cool okay so there you go that's what i like to see order tila day one paul acres thank you so much sir thank you uh let me see so aside from tila we got some other stuff we want to show yeah. let me do this let me do this Switch. let me do this and let me do this and hold on for a minute all right so in non-Motu related news, although don't leave if you're Motu. We got mm. something really spicy at the end for you. All right. Let's see. So oh, here it is. Boom. In non-Motu related news, uh, we recently released our King Kong and Godzilla soft vinyl figures from Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. And they sold out. You guys killed they're sold out, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're sold out. They sold out. Thank you guys so much. Thank we you. went Thank up you so much. Yeah, th these you will not be. Uh, let me just say again, you will not be disappointed when you get these in hand. They are such big hunking pieces. I told Hector off camera that his rendition of the legendary Godzilla might be my favorite Godzilla sculpt he's done so far because it's like a just a great interpretation. It's like a big hunk block of vinyl just. <clears throat> And then Kong soft vinyl all day, every day. You know, he just looks great. Got the swappable arm piece, the swap, the axe, the mecha yeah, glove. With a bunch of stuff. So that's our first colorway. And people are like, uh, you know, hey, uh, are you going to do more colorways? The Godzilla sold out so fast. I didn't get a chance. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, here is the release schedule for the other four colorways this year. Um, they're going to be all they're all going to be limited okay no time additions gonna be limited we got spring 24 which is what what is that because what's what's spring is that next uh, month? spring it's yeah it's like coming up <laughs> we're okay, yeah spring. we're like in yeah, spring yeah, right. yeah 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 okay so that's really soon then uh we'll do an online comic-con drop yep for sccc and then in the fall we'll do another one and in the winter, we'll do another one. And so if you are a kaiju collector, if you're collecting Safubi, um, definitely stay tuned and know that there are more coming soon. We wanted to kick off with these like colors that are harken back to like Safubi colors because there's a lot in the market right now with the you know traditional colors of the of Godzilla and Kong. We wanted to do something that separated uh, at first glance. So uh, yeah, these are awesome. To, 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 you know, really show off that these are meant to be inspired by the you know safubi and they are you know the sort of giant soft vinyl figures so um we i definitely wanted to go for a more traditional retro kind of safubi look and a lot of them if you if you follow safubi and you do all that like there are a lot of these like red soft vinyl uh you know renditions out there of godzilla or whatever it may be with like a black overspray or a blue overspray uh in this case i kind of chose like a like a metallic navy um with like some highlights of a, of a pearl blue and uh some and then obviously the gold to kind of make some of the some uh, accent some of these other parts like the, uh, the scars or the spikes and the toenails all that kind of thing. yeah fun. so super exciting i've seen the other colors there is not a slouch in the bunch they're all insane and i cannot wait to get these in my collection so really rad stuff and then so I do this right. Ba -bam! A little sneak tease. 
of something that's coming very, very soon. We announced at uh, Designer Con that we are uh, doing uh, Daria figures, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And so uh, these are coming real, real soon. They are looking insane. You know, we do a lot at Mondo and a collectible side. It's not just Master of the Universe, believe it or not, not just one six, believe it or not. But this line is really, really amazing. Can you tell us anything without giving anything? No, I mean, I would love to talk about it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Daria has been something I've been trying to do for a very long time. Um, you know, this is not one six, right? Not one six. I can say that now. Um, it's, um, you know, it's going to be we're, more will be revealed very, very soon. But uh, it is, um, they are a figure similar in line to our Rick and Morty figures back in the day. If, if those of you have collected those, um, it's it's going to be something like that a, around that price point. So um, something a little more, uh, I guess. And those came with a lot. Yes, they, they this Daria set is going to come with a lot of accessories and a lot of ways to, to display Daria in very different ways. So if you're into Daria or were into Daria back in the day, um, this is like the ultimate Daria collectible. And that's kind of what we set out to do when we release anything at Mondo, just make it the ultimate version of it. Like what if this was the last time ever, right? That we got the chance to work on these things. Um, you know, this is Daria is this. So. Yeah. And uh, again, uh, stay tuned because we have a lot of great, if you're a fan of Daria, if you're a fan of 90s MTV mm -hmm. cartoons, if you're a fan of Beavis and Butthead, Mondo's doing some really cool stuff really, really soon. A lot of good stuff there. I think you guys will dig it. Something different, uh, but something super rad. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Okay. Let's, bro. I already made this joke uh, on one of the meetings. Uh, Kurt Loader, yeah. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Um, okay. Yeah, Carson Daly. Let's, Carson Daly. <laughs> Let, I, I made it. Someone's, I, I said, uh, someone said Kurt Loader. I go, no, I don't think he ever really existed. I think that was like an, uh, one of those Kazam Shazam. It was things the first just, AI generated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do some giveaways. Let's do some giveaways. So we want to give away a couple things here. Let's start with a nice, an, oh man. Now they're just saying kick ass stuff. A Dr. Katz figure. Oh, I, yeah. So, you start That's going awesome. into that like MTV vibe. Uh, uh, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. The night, just all that. Like, and someone said, "Can't wait for all real monsters." Damn right. Um, okay, so let's we'll we'll do a giveaway. We'll take a, look at a few questions, and then we'll do another giveaway, and then we'll be out of here because we got things to do. Believe it or not, Jenny McCarthy single tops. <laughs> okay, so um, all right, let's give away a fifty dollar gift card to MondoShop.com. Everybody loves those. Whenever we do it, people are always thanking us. Like especially if, like most people on these streams are buying figures anyway, or they're just getting fifty bucks off. So let's come up with oh, this is a good one. Let's come. Let's let's do since we just put Daria up on the screen, real easy, real easy. Give me the name. It's probably too easy. Just Give it. me the name of Beavis and Butthead's annoying little friend. I'll give you a hint. He wears a winger t-shirt. Do you know it, Hector? I don't. No shit. Okay, cool. I don't. Let's see who... who... I thought it was easy. Yeah. See how many Beavis and... Oh, there's... Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to give it, even though it's technically not 100% spelling... Uh, I don't know what the spelling is. It doesn't matter. It's, oh, uh, it's, no, it's, there it is. Chat kept moving. Shoes up, sleeves down, technically got it. It's Stuart, but I'm going to give it to you because I think you probably just meant and and dropped the uh, T there. So we're going to give it to shoes up, sleeves down. It is Stuart. He wears the little uh, winger shirt. So if you want to claim your prize, congratulations, shoes up, sleeves down. You just got to write an email to support at mondoshop.com. Let them know you want it uh, on the show. They will verify and you will get your $50 gift card, Brad. Okay, good, good, good. Congratulations, congratulations. Now. That was a good one. That was, that was a, a good one. That was a quick, that was a quick, quick thing. Quick in and out. Yeah. Let's check out these comments and questions before, before we, because we're going to do the last giveaway and then we'll peace out. I don't want to leave anything out. Uh, what are people saying here? <clears throat> Any chance of 1-6 classic Disney characters? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Let me see. Uh, what are you going to do? There was another one here I wanted to catch. Uh, oh, here's the one. This one's a Mondo. What is the process to safely swap the heads of any Mondo figure? 
And out of curiosity, would Jubilee's fairy tale head swap onto Tila? <laughs> Uh, I don't know about the second one, but uh, the first one, I'll say I whenever I get a figure from anywhere that has any part swapping of any kind, especially like a friction fit or whatever it is, I get Gabby's blow dryer I plug it in at the, in the studio and I heat all those parts up just in case. Sometimes I don't need to do too much. Sometimes I need to do a lot more. But I would just like to throw that out to everybody in case you don't know. I, I mentioned that in a comment a couple of times on the Facebook groups and some people were like not aware of that. So always heat up like fresh figures because you never know. You never know if they were in a cold climate uh, in the shipping process. You just don't know. So always heat them up a little bit. And the second one, I don't know. Do you know the answer to that? Uh, yeah, it depends. Um, you you would have to just some the the, the ball joints might be different for, for Jubilee versus Tila. So yeah. Can't I mean, guarantee it. Yeah, no guarantees there. Uh, packaging reveal. We did show, uh, if, if you're referring to Tila, just uh, rewind back. If not, uh, nothing yet. Uh, okay, let's see. Anything else that I missed before we split here? Uh, uh, oh, look at this. It's the X-Men's fault I'm here, though. I wasn't going to do animated figures. Then these fools effed around and made that Logan <laughs> figure. And now I have four of those figures. Yeah, dude, those X-Men, we, we were telling people for a while, this is going to be the line that people go back the most to go collect older figures. Right. Because people weren't either not aware of it or sleeping on the line. And then, you know, Logan got out, uh, uh, Omega Red got out, and now, you know, X-Men 97 is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. So that the hype is so over. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Do this, Let's do uh, that giveaway. Do the last so, giveaway. Now, for this giveaway, what should we give away? Uh, I think we give away the you know figure we're talking about, right? Let's let's give away a Tila to somebody. Uh, whoa! Okay. <laughs> Who wants to win a free Tila? Hector's feeling generous. Let's see. Uh, what we need a good question for that. Do you have one? I, I can uh, look up. And... I trust you with these. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, let me give. Uh, uh, here we go. I had one saved somewhere here for a moment, just like this. For a special moment. Okay. This is good. This is not too hard. All right. But you you would need to be a real He Man fan to know. Okay. Okay. And you're gonna have to type carefully, people, because it's a lot to type. And okay. Question. Which three of Prince Adam's allies know his secret identity? Ooh. Did you hear that? No. Oh man, I dropped a, a, a little a sound effect. An explosion? Like a yeah, yeah. Did you hear it? <laughs> I think Let's I see. think got it here. I think right away. Oh Let's wow. Let's see. Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. Is it Craig C? I'm sorry, Craig G. It is Craig DeBarge. Wait, is there someone before it? Yeah, Craig DeBarge. Mm -hmm. Craig DeBarge. There you go, the Sorceress, Orko. Man at Arms, and Orko. Nailed it, perfect. Craig, you got Tila for free. Dang. <laughs> I don't know if you can... <laughs> I heard it a little bit. It was like, I heard oh, okay. it. There it is, you hear the applause? I don't know, it's like a filter. Yeah, there you go, we'll just like that. Craig and Barsh, congratulations. Congratulations, you got a free Master of Universe Tila 1-6 scale figure. Uh, with all the trimmings, congratulations. He goes, I could cry, to be honest. Wait, that was not it. I could cry, to be honest. Awesome, dude. I'm glad you got it. That's a good one. We love doing giveaways here, and thankfully, we are able to do it. You guys are awesome. Uh, so congratulations, sir, and thank you all yeah, for being great sports. Everyone's real nice. Yes. Craig is a worthy soul, as some uh, Bohemian industry says. Heck yeah. yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, that's a lot of show. We did it. We talked about everything. We yeah, yeah. we got some right? reveals. We had some 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 things to talk about here. We had news. Talked about C two E two. We talked yep. about 
uh daria we talked about kong and godzilla mm -hmm. we did giveaways we showed the deep dive on come on we did a lot we did yeah, a lot there was a lot in the for a monday night, night bro oh, yeah for monday dude jesus yeah. christ awesome well thank you guys all so very much for joining us uh we love doing mondo toy talk and we're always happy to do it we know you guys are going to come hang out with us uh if you haven't gotten again you can pick up tila right now on mondoshop.com yeah uh, huh just until Friday. Just until Friday. That's two Fridays we we did in the timed edition, right? Yes. Yeah. People yeah. like it when we do two Fridays. It's like two chances for your paycheck to hit. So yeah. there you go. And uh, do not miss her. She's a core character. She's awesome. And she's going to blow people's minds when she arrives. All right. Awesome. Thank you all very much. We love you. And we'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. And now we end the stream.